Good day, learner journalist! I am Teacher Shirley May Mensador Abuda from the special program in journalism of Magnaga National High School, Pantuca North District for the subject, Journalism 7. Join me once again in discovering great ideas in the world of journalism. Are you familiar and particular with these symbols? How about this? Well, if yes, then you're in the room for more learnings and improvement. If it is a no, then you're in the right track of discovering skills in journalism. You might be quite interested about this, right? Well, just sit back, relax, and learn from my discussion of the topic in copy editing, the AP style guide in editing journalistic articles. After watching this video lesson, you will be able to observe specific style guides in editing journalistic articles. Edit journalistic articles. Appreciate the importance of editing journalistic articles. Before learning the different editing marks, let us know first the AP style guide or the Associated Press in brief. The Associated Press was founded in 1848. A cooperative effort among six New York newspapers pooling resources for gathering international news. Currently world's single largest news organization, over 3,700 employees in 121 countries. More than a billion people read, hear, or see AP News daily. The Associated Press style book first published in 1977. What is an AP style? An AP style is commonly accepted journalistic standards for usage, spelling, grammar, and punctuation. It keeps writing style easy to read concise, and free of bias. Standard style guide for most U.S. newspapers, magazines, and public relations firms. Why AP style? First, because it's accurate. Second, it's clear. Third, it's tight. Fourth, it's neutral or non-offensive. In AP style, if we are using numbers, we need to spell out whole numbers below 10. Numerals that start a sentence. Example, 27 doctrines were reiterated yesterday. For large numbers, use hyphen to connect word ending in Y to another word. Example, 21 or 76,000. Use figures for 10 and above. For all ages and percentages, even less than 10. In places, address. Abbreviate the words street, avenue, and boulevard only after numbered address. Abbreviate compass directions in numbered address. Example, 50 S Court Street South Court Street. In places, states. Spell out names of states 
unless preceded by a city, country, or military base name. Spell out Alaska and Hawaii and states with five or fewer letters. For second references, abbreviate all state names. Example, I lived in Oklahoma. I lived in Tulsa, Oklahoma. I lived in Iowa. I lived in Council Bluffs, Iowa. In time, days versus dates. Always use numerals without ST, ND, RD, or TH in dates. Avoid using yesterday, today, and tomorrow. Take note, story publication could be delayed. When writing about events, use months and dates. Example, April 30 and June 5. When referring to a month, day, and year, Set off a year with commas. Example, August 20, 1964 was the day they had all been waiting for. Time, months. Never abbreviate months, not immediately precede a date. Abbreviate only if month's name is six letters or longer. Example, we got married in September last year. They were married August 6 last year and divorced March 5. Time years. Add an S to first year in the decade. Years are never spelled out. Take note, even at the beginning of sentence, use a figure. Example, in the 1960s, I did a lot of things I don't remember. In 1968 was a good year, I'm told. Time, a.m. versus p.m. Recognize that 8 p.m. tonight is redundant. Write 8 p.m. Monday. Use figures except for noon and midnight. Write time of day like this, 2.30 a.m. or 8.45 p.m. Titles, Compositions Capitalize first and last word of title. Capitalize all words four letters or longer. Do not capitalize articles A, N, and the, or conjunctions or prepositions, unless four letters or longer. Capitalize the in the title if that is the way publication prefers to be known. Examples The Elements of Style Gone with the Wind Titles, people. Capitalize formal titles before a name. Take note, do not separate title from name by comma. Titles after a name or standing alone are almost never capitalized. Examples, I saw President Obama. He met Prince Charles. Dr. Mojok, LSCC president, attended the meeting. Titles, places. General compass directions should be lowercase. Example, the warm front is moving east. Capitalize names of U.S. regions. Example, the Northeast depends on the Midwest for its food supply. Please take note, the best reference for correct spelling or punctuation of place names, 
U.S. Postal Service Directory of Post Offices, Best Reference for Foreign Geographic Names, Webster's New World College Dictionary. Titles, Ethnic Groups. Preferred usage for African American is black. It is not capitalized. Preferred usage for Caucasians is white. Also not capitalized. Preferred usage for Asian people is Asian, capitalized. American Indian, capitalized with no hyphen, is preferred over Native American. As journalists, also remember that you should follow the proper use of punctuation. Here are guides to punctuation. Comma. Do not put a comma before conjunction in a simple series. Example, John, Paul, George, and Ringo. Red, white, and blue. Use a comma to set off a person's hometown and age. Example, Jane Doe. Framingham was absent. Joe Blow, 34, was arrested yesterday. Place a comma before and after the following. Place a comma in a year if it follows a month and a date. Example, I was born on November 6, 1958 in Madison, Wisconsin. Place a comma in a state if it follows a city or a country name. Example, I was born in Madison, Wisconsin on November 6, 1958. Place a comma in an appositive, a word or phrase that says same thing as a word or phrase next to it. Example, I saw my boss, John Smith, in the hall. My boss and John Smith are identical. Colon. Capitalize first word after colon only if it is a proper noun or start of a complete sentence. Example. He promised this. The company will make good all the losses. But there were considerations, expense, tie, and feasibility. Colons go outside quotation marks unless part of quoted material. Hyphen. Use a hyphen for compound adjectives before the noun. Example, well-known actor, full-time job, 20-year sentence. Do not use when compound modifier occurs after verb. Example, the actor was well known. Her job became full time. He was sentenced to 20 years. Period. Use a single space after period at the end of sentence. Do not put space between initials. Example, C.S. Lewis, G.K. Chesterton. In news writing, there are times we use the quotations. Learner journalist, we need to be guided on how to properly use quotations. Quotations in the news. Quote marks indicate exact wording. Example, they tell reader this is exactly what was said. Quote marks always appear outside punctuation. When a full sentence quotation is introduced or followed by attribution, place a comma between them. Quotations that are questions only need a question mark. Example, 
Did he really say that? He asked. In dialogue, each person's words are placed in a separate paragraph with quotation marks. Take note, begin a new paragraph with each speaker. Use single marks for quotes within quotes. Example, she said, he told me, I love you. If a quote is more than two sentences, use a colon after attribution. Example, I said, isn't this great? It's the state fair. He said he felt sicker than a dead frog after he drank too much tequila. Spelling is one aspect of the English language that doesn't have many variations. It is very important in writing an article. Journalist, here are spellings to note. Accommodate, two C's, two M's. Advisor, AP likes an E in it. Afterward, no S at the end. Amid, has no S T at the end. Among, has no S T at the end. Calendar, cancelled, cancellation. Embarrass, two R's and two S. Harass, only one R. Homicide, not homicide. Judgment, there is no judge in judgment. Knowledge, livable. Privilege, no D. Sheriff. Journalist, let us also remember these words in some journal activities. Try to check the AP style of the following usage. A versus N. Affect versus effect. Burglary versus larceny. Robbery versus theft. Council versus council. Principal versus principal. Lay versus lie. Scots versus scotch marshal versus marshal how are you now my dear students do you want more because there are still more to know about editing articles and these are the editing marks this is what you are going to do with the letters words and sentences in the paragraph or article that needs editing Try to observe and familiarize the symbols. Right after this, I will give you activities for you to practice on. If the paragraph has no indention and you want to indent it. If the phrase does not continue with the paragraph. If you want to transpose the two words in the sentence. If the word needs to be written in figures instead of a word. Take note with the rule that we have discussed a while ago. Vice versa from the previous if we need to spell out the number. Means that the word governor should be abbreviated. That the encircled word should not be abbreviated. That the first letter of the word, since it's proper noun, so they should be in the upper case. That the letter being crushed out should be in lower case. The word should not be separated, so remove the space. That two words should be separated, we use such symbol. 
if the word in the sentence should be retained. If we need to add word in the sentence, such as a verb, which is very important. The symbol will be used if we need to delete letter or word in the sentence. Use the symbol when the letter or word should be bold face center. The symbol will be used if the word needs to be flushed in the right. The symbol will be used if the word needs to be flushed in the left. Use this symbol when comma should be inserted. Have this one when apostrophe should be inserted. When period is badly needed in the article. When quotation marks strike in the article. This is the symbol when hyphen should be inserted. And this is the symbol we should be using when dash is needed in the article. Great! We are done, students. Have you learned many things? Then, very good. Now, after learning from the discussions, let's try to check how far will you do in editing articles using the editing marks? For activity one, kindly employ the correct symbol or editing marks from the given statement. Number one, the victim expresses her sorrowful experiences. Yes, the symbol to be used is insert space. Two, the result, fine. You're right, it's insert word. Three, the witnesses pointed somebody. You're exactly right. It's remove space. Four. Queen Elizabeth is loved by everybody. Exactly. We need the uppercase symbol. Five. There are five in the class. Yes, definitely. It's the spell it out symbol. Now, let's move on to our last activity. Try to copy read the given article. Kindly employ correct symbol or editing marks. And now, for you to check your work, here is the edited one employing the correct editing marks.
How was it? Did you made it correctly? Yeah! Great! All you need to do is to practice your skills in editing articles and believe that you can master it. Do not hesitate to ask your teacher or school paper advisor in school. Ask them for more exercises in editing journalistic articles. And that will serve as our assignment or agreement for this lesson. Congratulations, my dear students! Another job well done today! Please never forget to share what you have learned. Remember that sharing is more than winning. Once again, this is Teacher Shirley May Mencidor Abuda from the finest school of journalism and leadership, Magnagan National High School, Pantuca North District, saying, Dito sa TV Skwela, sa pag-aaral, sama-sama. Bye-bye!